Welcome to our deep dive into the SCI FI masterpiece Oblivion, directed by Joseph Kosinski and starring Tom Cruise. Released in 2013, this visually stunning film takes us on a journey to a post-apocalyptic Earth, where the remnants of humanity struggle against an alien threat. Oblivion is set in the year 2077, where Earth has been devastated by a war with extraterrestrial invaders known as Scavs. Tom Cruise plays Jack Harper, a drone repairman stationed on Earth to extract vital resources. As Jack goes about his mission, he begins to question his reality and uncover dark truths about the war and his own past. His encounters with a woman named Julia, played by Olga Kurulenko, led him to discover that everything he knows may be a lie. Alongside his partner Victoria, played by Andrea Riseborough, Jack must confront the truth about the war and his role in it. But not everything is as it seems, and Jack soon finds himself embroiled in a struggle for the future of humanity. With breathtaking visuals and a thought-provoking story, Oblivion is a must-watch for fans of science fiction. A veteran assigned to extract Earth's remaining resources begins to question what he knows about his mission and himself. One of the few remaining drone repairmen assigned to Earth, its surface devastated after decades of war with the alien scabs discovers a crashed spacecraft with contents that bring into question everything he believed about the war and may even put the fate of mankind in his hands. Jack Harper is one of the last few drone repairmen stationed on Earth, part of a massive operation to extract vital resources after decades of war. With a terrifying threat known as the Scavs, Jack's mission is nearly complete. Living in and patrolling the skies from thousands of feet above, his existence is brought crashing down when he rescues a stranger from a downed spacecraft. Her arrival triggers a chain of events that forces him to question everything he knows and puts the fate of humanity in his hands. In 2077, the human Jack Harper works with his companion Victoria Viker on the surveillance station Tech 49. Jack repairs drones and his memory was erased as part of the security process to stay on Earth. And he knows that Earth is completely depleted after 60 years of war against the alien invader scavenger scavs. The aliens have destroyed the moon and were defeated by nuclear weapons and the Earthlings have moved to Saturn's moon Titan since the planet was completely destroyed. Now Jack has to protect the power stations that use the ocean to supply energy to Titan fixing the drones. He also has recollections of a mysterious woman at the Empire State Building when Earth was habitable. Jack and Vic receive instructions from Sally Melissa Leo, who is located on the space station TT and Vic is anxious to leave Earth in two weeks to join the survivors on Titan. Sixty dark years after the victorious but utterly devastating war against an unforeseen alien invasion which left humanity practically on the verge of extinction. Most of the remaining Earthlings have long since they relocated on Titan, Saturn's largest moon, in 2077. Left behind in the uninhabitable and barren Earth along with a handful of survivors and the extraterrestrial invaders, is the drone technician, Jack Harper, and the communications teammate, Victoria Olsen, who monitor the planet before mankind's final migration to Titan. However, when the plagued with unexplained visions, Jack rescues the cryptic woman in his dreams. Flashbacks of a fragmented memory will soon unearth a startling secret about his mission. In the end, what is the real threat, and above all, who cloaks the truth? In the year 2077, Tech 49 Jack Harper Tom Cruise is one of the last drone repairmen stationed on Earth. According to Jack, the planet was nearly destroyed 60 years earlier. 
during a war against a race of alien invaders known as Scavenger Scavs. The Scavs destroyed the moon, causing massive earthquakes and tsunamis, and then launched their invasion. They were only defeated by the use of nuclear weapons, which left most of the planet irradiated and uninhabitable. The few surviving humans migrated to a colony on Titan, which is powered using energy harvested on Earth by giant ocean-borne power stations that generate fusion power from seawater. From Tower 49, a base standing above the remains of the northeastern United States, Jack and his partner and lover Victoria Vicar Olsen Andrea Riseborough work as a team to maintain the autonomous drones that defend the power stations from the few remaining SCAV bandits. They receive their orders from Sally Melissa Leo, their mission commander, who is stationed on the TT, a massive tetrahedral space station that orbits the Earth. Jack F. allies recon and repair missions to the surface, while Vic supervises from Tower 49. The two expect to leave Earth and join the other survivors on Titan in two weeks. Although Jack and Vic had their memories wiped five years prior for security purposes, Jack has recurring dreams about meeting a mysterious woman at the Empire State Building in a time before the war, which occurred before he was born. Additionally, Jack keeps a secret retreat in a forested area he sometimes visits. A SCAV signal beacon transmitting coordinates is followed shortly by the crash of an American spacecraft prior to the invasion. Drones come and kill much of the hibernating human crew despite Jack ordering them to stand down. But Jack rescues a woman, Julia Olga Kurulenko, recognizing her as the woman from his dreams. Julia says her ship the Odyssey was a NASA mission, the objective of which she refuses to reveal. She and Jack return to the crash site to retrieve the sheep's flight recorder. They are captured by scavs, who are revealed to be humans living in their leader. Malcolm Beach Morgan Freeman claims that the alien invasion was a lie. He tells Jack that drones work for the aliens and, and are programmed to kill humans. He also reveals that he brought down the Odyssey to get hold of its nuclear reactor, which will make the base for his fission bomb that he hopes to use to destroy the alien command center TET. He demands that Jack reprogram a captured drone to destroy the TET by delivering an extremely powerful nuclear weapon. When Jack refuses, Malcolm releases the captives but urges them to seek the truth in the so-called radiation zone that Jack is forbidden to enter. On their way back to the tower, Jack takes Julia to the ruins of the Empire State Building and asks her who she is. She reveals that she was his wife before the war. His dreams were flashbacks to the day he proposed to her on the Empire State Building's observation deck. As Jack and Julia share a kiss, Vic watches via her video link to Jack's ship and, when they return to the tower, refuses them entry. When she informs Sally that she and Jack are no longer an effective team, Sally activates a drone that kills Vic. Before the drone can kill Jack, Julia uses the weapons on Jack's ship to destroy the drone. Sally requests that Jack return to the TT and bring Julia, but they flee in his ship instead, pursued by more drones. They crash in the radiation zone, where Jack comes face to face with Tech 52, a clone of himself. He fights the clone, who, upon catching sight of Julia, begins experiencing memory flashbacks before Jack renders him unconscious. Jack then finds Julia has been seriously wounded by a stray bullet from his struggle with Tech 52. Jack impersonates Tech 52, activating his vehicle and going to Tower 52, where he encounters a clone of Victoria and steals a med kit to help Julia. 
Shot, Jack and Julia return to Beach, who tells them the truth. The TET is in fact an alien artificial intelligence that seized Earth to exploit the planet's resources. And Jack and Victoria are just two of many thousands of clones of their original versions astronauts from the 2017 Odyssey mission that were created as soldiers to carry out the invasion of Earth. The TET uses drones programmed to kill humans on site, thus forcing the survivors to disguise themselves as the scavs. The TET now uses clones of Harper and Olsen to maintain the drones and thereby maintain its dominance. Jack agrees to reprogram the stolen drone to destroy the TET. When leaving the underground stronghold with the reprogrammed drone, they are attacked by three other drones. The drones enter the base and wreak havoc inside, destroying the reprogrammed drone in the process. The humans finally manage to destroy the three drones but are forced to find another way to deliver the nuclear bomb to the TET. Jack proposes delivering the bomb himself. To throw off suspicion, Julia suggests that she accompany Jack, since Sally had requested that he bring her to the TET, an underground stronghold. During the flight, Jack listens to the Odyssey's flight recorder which reveals that he and Victoria Harper and and Olsen were originally pilots on the Odyssey mission to Titan, which was reassigned by NASA when the TET was discovered near Saturn. Sally was their supervisor at NASA Mission Control with other personnel, including Julia, on board in cryogenic capsules. Upon approach, the TET drew them in with a tractor beam, Recognizing that capture was imminent, Jack was able to jettison the sleeping crew members, who orbited for 60 years in suspended animation until Beach sent the signal to recall their craft. Jack enters the TET, where he is met by a sentient tetrahedral structure that had adopted the persona of Sally. Jack opens the sleep capsule to reveal Beach. Julia simultaneously emerges from another sleeping capsule at Jack's secret forest retreat. The two men trigger the nuclear bomb and destroy the TET at the cost of their own lives. The destruction of the TET also deactivates the remaining drones around the world. Just moments before they were able to slaughter the survivors at the Scav's underground base. Three years later, Julia is living with her young daughter in the forest retreat on the recovering Earth. A group of survivors arrive there and Tech 52 emerges from the group. A voiceover by Tech 52 reveals that his previous encounter had. Ray awakened memories of Julia, and he had searched for her since the TET's destruction. Having the same latent memories as Tech 49, he then reunites with his family. I hadn't really heard of Oblivion before I watched it, but I'm a big fan of Tom Cruise and his films, as he is such an excellent actor. Right from the start, the film doesn't disappoint. It has a real depth that a lot of action or SCIFI films don't have. A beautiful ambient soundtrack is matched perfectly to the pace of the film and in its own right is a work of excellence that I now listen to on my iPod. The characters are believable, and as expected, Tom Cruise plays his character really well. Morgan Freeman also plays an excellent role here, and I feel was perfectly cast for his role. The special effects are very good. The creators went to great efforts with many of the sets and props, constructing full-size ships and massive screens to project backgrounds rather than just use blue screen and CGI, which I feel responsible for ruining many modern films. The Star Wars prequels comes to mind, where CGI is used, it's not over the top and blends well with the live action and real sets. The tower set is a work of pure beauty and helps add to the bright 
and wide open feel of the film, if that makes sense. As I said previously, the soundtrack is fantastic and allows me to watch the film over and over without getting bored of it. The sound effects are excellent as well. Specifically, the drones make excellent noises at various stages of the film. The overall plot is very good. It has a good amount of twists and real depth. It is all played out at a pace that seems to adapt perfectly to the story. Action sequences are fast and deeper. More emotional sequences get the slower pace they deserve. It's funny, but it's one of those films that maybe didn't win any awards and maybe didn't break box office records. But I find myself watching it again and again, as it's just so watchable and enjoyable. There are very few films I own that I can watch, go back to the beginning, and watch again right away. Black Hawk Down is one of them, and now so is Oblivion. In fact I only watched it last week, but after writing this review, I'm tempted to watch it again tonight. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did and continue to do so. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Oblivion. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to add it to your watchlist. And if you have, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, stay curious.